Hey guys, this is the professor with number two of the series on the bushcrafter's favorite meat, which is bacon. And so what we'll do here for our next meal is uh, create a simple combination of only two ingredients, which we will entitle hog and hominy. So first of all, like before, uh, we simply want to get our bacon cut up into about one inch pieces. As usual, if you've been following my cooking series for any length of time at all, you will know that the secret to campfire, as well as fireplace cooking, is the frying takes place on the hearth beside the fire. If you're on a campfire situation, you would want to build what's known as the keyhole fire, which has an area there for the, uh, the logs to burn, where we're going to heat water, but we're also going to have a small area off to the side where we're going to do our frying. And so I use a, a small skillet. Here we have a shovel full of coals and a trivet, a basic three-leg short tripod. And they're about two inches long. We're going to cook up two slices of bacon. Once again, that's how much area you've got. Kind of size this for the number of eaters today. So this is kind of what you do if you're out on a solo trip. If you want to increase that, you just have to add more bacon. And you're going to add more hominy to that. Okay, well, we're frying up our bacon here using the bush, Bushcrafter's favorite implement, the sharpened stick. And uh, while this is not exactly what you might find in taste of home, it certainly does a serviceable job. It saves dishwashing later. So we want to, to notice here once again that that is exactly the right temperature to fry bacon, which is the temperature of those hot coals. And uh, as time goes on, the uh, temperature of the coals drops, but also the required temperature for cooking bacon. Because even on the stove at home, you want to continually reduce the temperature. Otherwise, what happens is your bacon begins to pop and spit grease all over everything. So here, you don't have to adjust. It simply does that automatically. So we'll continue to fry the bacon. Enjoy the smell here of the sizzling bacon in the pan. Well, as you can see here, our bacon is fried up to that chewy stage, starting to brown. And so what we need to do next here is to uh, drain all the grease that we can get off of that. And we'll be ready to add our hominy. Well, as you can see here, we just simply got two ingredients to this meal. Our can of hominy and our little pieces of bacon. Once again, you can flavor this up with uh, some additional ground pepper if you like. There's a lot of other things you can do with this, though. If extra people come and you don't have any more hominy, simply break a few eggs and fry those in there, kind of make it into an omelet. You can also uh, have some diced onions, fry that up with the bacon, and uh, that adds an additional flavor. Add some garlic. Uh, you can just stretch this meal as far as you need to for the amount of uh, eaters that are on hand. But uh, this here is about enough for one or maybe two people today. I'm going to have this as kind of a side dish. You can make it as the main meal, just eat more. Well, thanks for watching my videos, and I hope you enjoy the second of the series on the Bushcrafter's favorite meat, bacon. This is the professor, and I'll see you soon.